How to design a logo using the golden ratio in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. Today I want to talk about the golden ratio and how it applies to creating a logo in Adobe Illustrator. Now sometimes this is also called uh, the Fibonacci sequence. So it's either golden ratio, sometimes the golden rule, of design, uh, the golden number, uh, has a few different names. And anyway, what it is, is a, um, a sequence, a, a ratio of one to 1.618. And then there's a whole bunch of other numbers that go on to probably infinity. But um, the the rounded one is, is 1.618. That's the one that you're gonna wanna use when you're doing a golden ratio logo. Now, I, the reason I bring it up is because I just redesigned my logo earlier this year, and um, this is my Seahawk graphic design, um, custom graphic design business that I've been doing since 2007, and um, it just really needed to have a facelift. And I really wanted to try this uh, golden ratio approach this time around. Um, so what you'll want to do is um, grab, and I've already got some stuff here I'll show you, Here's a small circle I made. So do it with a circle. Um, just make a really small one. I, I suggest that you use probably a stroke for now, but maybe we'll turn it to a fill just so you can see it. Um, and it's currently just 35 pixels by 35 pixels, not very big. And then come up to Effect, Distort, and Transform, and go to Transform. Go ahead and click on Preview. Turn this value to 161.8 percent that's that 1.618 to 1 ratio but when you're doing it as a percentage remember uh, 1 is the same as 100 percent so 1.618 um, that's what the number needs to be when you're doing it in percentages okay and then as far as copies go we'll probably do six copies maybe seven um, as you can see, they're all on top of each other. So, you know, if you want to see what this looks like, spread out, maybe do 50 here and maybe, you know, minus 10, 11 here, uh, and then just say, okay. And what that should do is create a whole bunch of circles at exactly the same ratio going out. And this is usually going to be plenty. You can always make more, but, um, I, I just suggest, you know, seven's probably enough. It gives you eight total. Um, if you want to use these, um, you'll have to go up to Object and Expand Appearance so that the Transform setting is no longer there. Um, the problem with this is you can no longer go into Appearance and change your Transform, whereas if this was not expanded, you could always come back in here and take away or add to or change the, the settings here. So we'll just go with that. Object, Expand Appearance, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and align, and then I'm going to tick this to say align to selection because I don't want it to align to any artboards. And I'm going to go ahead and flip this over so that it's a stroke and no fill, and maybe bump it up to, you know, five, six points, something like that. And then click align objects to horizontal center. Oh, excuse me, before I do that, right click and ungroup because they're going to be grouped by default. Then click horizontal align center and vertical align center. So now you have your Fibonacci circles and basically you just pull these out and use them um, one at a time. And to make a copy, um, you'll see that if, I, if I'm if i holding down uh, control and alt, it'll have that little plus arrow. So when I drag it out like this, it's gonna have, I'm gonna make an extra. Um, and actually you only have to do alt. I don't know why I said control, it's just alt, just alt. So hold alt and click on a circle, drag it out. You've made a copy of it, and then you've kind of got your uh, template still in place, if that makes sense, because you're going to use maybe multiples of one of these circles and maybe only one or two of another. And some of them you may not use at all. It just depends on your design. Now, what I would do is start off with uh, a sketch that, you know, you're trying to be thinking in circles and, you know, all of that in mind, but Mainly, this is just a sketch to kind of get the idea on paper, and then you bring the sketch in, and then you apply the circles to it. So what I did here was 
um, put all of these circles in here. And I'm, I'm just showing you, this is the actual logo. I'll show you real quick. There's the logo that I ended up with. And these are sort of the guidelines that I made using the um, golden ratio circles or golden circles as it were. And so to make these into circles like that, you just grab, grab a circle, bring it over, put it where you want it to, and then hit control five on your keyboard to create a guide. Now, once you have a guide created, um, if you can select it like this, you can move it around, but sometimes your guides are locked by default. So come over here to view and guides and lock guides means you can't move them. Um, so alt control and semicolon, I'll just click that now. Now I can't actually select any of these guides. They're all locked and I just unlocked them again, control alt and semicolon. Uh, now you can move them around again. And then the other thing is they get in the way. It's like, say, for here. Uh, this is really hard to see my logo because of all the blue lines that are on top. Well, you can just hit Control and semicolon, and that will hide them. They're still there, but you're just not seeing them. So it's a nice way to kind of on off. Okay, how am I doing? Yeah, I look good. Go back. How am I doing? Go back. That kind of thing. So get those two hotkeys um, down because they're very helpful. Um, the other thing is I, I kind of wanted to show you how I made this because this is just showing the guides, but I actually made it using, you know, non-guides at first. This was just creating all the circles together and then pulling out of this the shape that I wanted. And so I, I want to show you a real quick thing, like with these, with these guides, if you want to turn a guide into a shape, then you just hold shift, control, alt, and double click on that guide. So here we go, double click, boom, I just made a shape, right? So it's no longer a guide it's actually a shape and I'll give you I'll give it a little bit of a there we'll give it a fill so you can see now it's a shape but yeah that's a pretty weird hotkey not something you're you're normally gonna do um, anything like that in Illustrator but shift control alt and double click will transfer that into a shape again and I think it just uses whatever your last fill and stroke were um, you know so it was kind of hard to see when it's just a black line, but when I turn it to a fill, it's much easier. You can tell, yes, it has been turned into a shape, and it's no longer a guide. Um, again, they have to be unlocked in order for you to do that, though. You, ha you can't have guides locked and do that. But anyway, here's the shapes. These are all just circles. Um, they haven't been cut out or anything. And you can do some of this in Pathfinder if you want to. You could just divide and then like go through and pick out the pieces you want. Or you can use the shape builder tool over here. And if it says a plus sign, then that means you are going to weld these pieces together. So like, for instance, if I click and drag, those two pieces will be welded together. Pretty sweet. If I hold Alt, I'm gonna get an, a negative sign here, which means I'm gonna get rid of the things that I'm going over like that and so forth. So anyway, this is a very easy way to just kind of delete pieces that you don't want once you've made, um, once you've kind of made all of your shapes and you know, yeah, you're happy with the way this looks in general. You just kind of come in here, and add those together, and I can't remember what, what else did I do. I did this, those were together. I think this um, section was at least together, maybe more. Um, you know, I have to look at what, what I did again, but something like that, cut that piece out. These two are together. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So here you go. Um, it's basically, basically what I did here. I think all of those were all combined. Oops, combined. And yeah. So, I mean, you start building the shape that way. And then you end up with, with this over here. Now, I ended up adding some other effects to this, a little bit of jaggedness, um, which I use sometimes. Um, it just depends. I, I ended up doing a, a jagged version and a solid version for various applications. The text here is uh, one golden ratio circle away from the logo. And also in this version, it's the same. There's a circle that fits in this space. You can also use, um, a lot of people use like the letter, they might grab this S and then just shove that over there, which fortunately for me also kind of works. Um, the letters themselves were a golden ratio circle uh, compared to the logo. So I just did everything as a golden ratio and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. 
I uh, I had a, let's see, where is this? There we go. My website here that I created using the new logo, new concept. And I mean, it's just a nice, real big, modern website with big pictures and buttons and stuff. So as you can see, there's a picture of me. Um, and this is kind of what my new business cards are going to look like when they're finished. So anyway, that's the end of the tutorial, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about that information, if that's useful, if you think you'll try using... Uh, the golden ratio on your next logo design in the future. And until uh, next time, I will see you guys later.